Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Are you looking for a business or are you wanting to augment your income out of farming? Well, I highly recommend that this quail farming is one of the best things that you can do in order to augment your income. And in this video, allow me to share with you the basic methods on how to raise the quail in order for you to become successful. Economically, it is a very promising project. Imagine if you have 100 layers with 70% egg production, there will be 70 eggs in a day. And the birds will only consume 2 kilos of feeds. Quail raising is not expensive, it's easy, and it provides a very healthy, low-fat white meat and supplies the fertilizer you need for your home garden. The quail usually known as pugo. It is a small bird found in temperate and tropical regions throughout the world. On a commercial scale, quail raising has not attracted the interest of the investors because of lack of data, particularly with regards to feeding. Many people who go into quail raising are usually hobbyists who are not income conscious. There are different quail breeds that are found in the Philippines. The first one is the native, which we call pugu. It is found in the fields and forests, but this quail is not suitable for commercial production. And then we have this Japanese Taiwan, popularly known as the Chinese quail. It has a dark brown feathers mixed with white and gray. We also have this Japanese Seattle. It is an American breed similar to Japanese Taiwan. And then we have the Negro quail. The color of this one is black or grayish black. And then we also have this tuxedo, the black and white quail. The Japanese Taiwan breed is commonly raised in the Philippines. However, its eggs are small compared to those of improved breeds. For beginners, the Japanese Seattle is recommended as it is a heavy egg producer. Quails are easy to raise and the housing requirement is not as complicated as for chickens. A 4 feet by 8 feet and 1 foot high cage can house 250 to 300 layers. The flooring and all sides are made of 1 half inch mesh welded wire. 
gauges can also be made smaller. You can do the measurement of 2 feet by 4 feet and 1 foot. The cages should be rat proof. Rats and cats are the greatest enemy of the birds. They are capable of killing the birds while inside the cage. Quail, unlike some other fowls, are not delicate birds. They can be raised in any suitable and comfortable place in the house and the birds do not easily contract fowl diseases common to poultry, especially to chickens. Vaccination is not needed and the drugs we usually give to chickens do not have to be added to quail feed or drinking water. However, should any disease outbreak occur, the drugs used for chickens also can be used for quail. Normally, the quail will hatch their eggs and incubate it, but we need to use an incubator for the massive production. I experience 80% hatchability of the eggs inside the incubator with a temperature of 101 to 103 degrees Fahrenheit. In breeding our quails, we have to maintain a brooder pen. The brooder pen should be closed compartment. In my case, I use a big aquarium as the brooding area with a 50 watts bulb placed in the middle. The chicks of this quail will stay for 14 days in the brooder tank or the brooding pen. before they gonna be transferred to a growing cage. This will ensure low mortality rate of the chicks. I used to put rice hull in the aquarium or sawdust from the lumber yards. At this point, you have to watch carefully the chicks. If they crowd under the bulb, this means there is insufficient heat. So the best remedy is to add more bulbs. If they move away from the bulb, there's too much heat that we have also to reduce. And the remedy is to reduce the bulb inside the brooding pen.
After 41 days from hatching, the bird should start laying eggs. Remove the males not intended for breeding and the underdeveloped females shall also be removed and they can be sold as broilers. So I hope guys that this video would help and the hardest part of quail farming is actually on the day 1 to 14 days old and I already have told you about the basic tips or methods on how to go about this and I'm sure that you will become successful if you're gonna follow our tips. So I would like to make a shout out to the members of this channel and even to our subscribers, to our regular viewers, to our followers, and to those ones who made efforts to put comments and some suggestions in the comment box. Thanks a lot. And I would like to see you in my next video. Only here at Dexter's World! Music